Okay, so this has to be the hardest video I've ever done. And so I'm just gonna jump in. Uh, April is an important month. The president well, marked it. Sexual awareness, not sexual awareness, uh, sexual assault awareness, whatever. All right. The first time I was sexually abused was at eight years old and my father walked into my bedroom. I uh, came from a family that I had in my room and asked me to fellatio his penis. Oh gosh, it sounds so mundane now, and, and at that it was like a, ugh. So, I start this story on Instagram, but I am not willing to tell the whole story on Instagram. So, the rest can be seen on my page, and I will finish just after this. I hope all you Instagram po folks are doing well. Alright. Ah, oh, crap. So, I'm smoking. The lighting's gonna be bad. This is bad. I don't even want to do this. Will I even post it? I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about the uh, specifics of my abuse. I'm gonna talk about the survival. So it started at eight years old and uh, I was taught to lie because of course if I told the truth, it would have stopped. And it's why now today I uh, am not ashamed of being who I am. I just say what I am because for the longest time in my life, I had to hide the pain. Yeah. And because I was a Catholic and my father was a deacon in the Catholic Church, I was also unfortunately, devastatingly, suicidally abused by two other priests in the, yes? Let's say this out loud in the Catholic Archdiocese, specifically Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't let those people ruin me. I didn't, uh, to this day, I'm no longer a Catholic, obviously. Uh, okay, uh, I've got five minutes, I'll say it. Here's what happened, so my father was abusing me and I felt it was a sin, and so stupid me, 12 years at this age, 12 years, so the abuse had been happening for a while and I start to like get a brain, and it doesn't feel right to me, so I confess to my priest, and uh, oh wow, uh, instead of the priest telling me that uh, this is what he should have done to protect me. The priest decided to join in. Yeah. And then another one did. And that was my childhood. So today I'm kind of fucked. In all senses of the word. Because I have a hard time getting into relationships sexual in manner because I was screwed as a child and so I don't have the right way to look at a sexual relationship I uh because uh, for me sex is subservient yeah because I was subservient at that age and so yeah well this is a really weird post I have a hard time talking about this. I'm sure other people who have suffered what I have suffered, or I should not say suffer, also who survived it, thrived because of it, also have a hard time talking about it. And so, yeah, in this five minutes, I don't think I gave it the right effort, but I gave it an effort. And that's all I can do. All right, everyone. I'm going to go a little bit over because I'm not done. I want to give you something else before I leave. I am not a perfect person. I have had a life of imperfect, uh, imperfectness. Uh, I choose to wake up each morning and forget my past and meet my future. 
Yep. I choose to get up every morning and forget my past and meet my future. That's 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 who I am. It's why I always try to wake up with a smile and I uh, spend the night outside on the patio so I can see the sunrise in the morning. If I was inside, I would be able to see the sunrise. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this. And on this one, I really do thank you.